pray the Lord. Uh, should we fear Satan? No. Why? Somebody say why you shouldn't fear Satan. I'm not saying. See, and the importance of fearing Satan, the importance of not fearing Satan is so, so important. It's necessary for you to be in life without fear of Satan. The day you begin to not fear Satan, you'll be very peaceful. And that means you also not fear the things that's likely to do in your life. Amen. There are many phobias everywhere. People are afraid of dying early. Others are afraid of dying older. Others are afraid of dying today. The word uh, is gyroscophobia. Gyroscophobia means uh, that fear of getting older. And they've been having that fear for me. Even a child of 14 years says, I'm too, too old among my classmates. Even a nine-year-old. And then if the, you've got anxieties. If you have a complex because you're 25 but not yet married. You begin to compare yourself with other people. And then you say, I think I am, I'm not, I'm, I'm, everybody's laughing at me. Then anger comes in your mind. Uh, the, the anger problems. Anger pro problems means uh, the long drop, the long drops. <laughs> because you think that people are thinking this way or that way about you. She's uh, an inheritor of of of. Uh, of Pastor Senfuma, she's talking about the inner man. <laughs> the inner should be better. Amen? It should be clean. By thinking rightly, you are going to be clean. Amen? But if you think in terms of the, the other person is better than me, uh, I, am, I belong to an inferior tribe and all those things. Judging other people. Intimately belonging to political parties and thinking that you're fighting, you must fight other people. That judgment creates a darkness in you. Amen. It creates a problem in you. And you make other people's lives very difficult. Amen. It's called gerascophobia. I want to speak a little bit about it and then find a a therapy for it. So that you may see how your life can become very different. Pray the Lord. It is the fear of growing old. Gerascophobia. Yeah. Gerascophobia. The fear 
of being aged. And if I, I were to, to be truthful to you, most of you have that fear. That's why you compare yourself with older people and say, I'm, at least I'm, I'm a bit younger. You say that because you're afraid of, gr of growing older. Amen. Amen. You understand that? I want to remove that from you today. So that means enjoy your life. It's been a problem of history. And people keep on uh, kind of uh, grouping people and saying, People of this age will be diabetic. People of this age will die of COVID-19. So, so people don't want, they, they want to keep the age a secret. Because if they say their age, somebody is not going to marry them. Things like that. The word is gerascophobia. Can you say it? Gerascophobia. Gerascophobia. <laughs> In there also there is a fear of the devil. Because you give him such a big position in your life bigger than that of Jesus. And because his is death, because he's about death and destruction. Yet Jesus is about life. The way and the truth and happiness and abundant joy. Amen? Amen. When you're thinking about certain, you forget about all the things that are likely to come your way. Now we've been speaking about angels and you're going to be seeing signs of angels come in your life. And how after those signs, the life will change for you. Praise the Lord. People are so much in the negative that when you go to your aunt before you get married, she tells you the negative things which are likely to happen in marriage. That's why most, I mean, I saw women back, back, back in my, in my young, young in boyhood days, I saw a woman in a neighborhood, uh, she was crying so much. One woman was, and the name one was called Musabende. I knew her. They told her so many things about getting married. In the village, there, when finally the bicycle arrived, which was going to carry her to her husband. <laughs> Uh, she began to cry even louder. The bicycle rider he almost feared to, to ride her. To give, to so he put, well, and then we, everybody, they, 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 they began to sing. <laughs> and they had smeared her with uh, with ka, with uh, with uh, with uh, with G. Very very smart looking. 
<laughs> and then she went crying. <laughs> and the children were crying. You can choose to cry or to rejoice. Amen. How many of you will Lola instead of crying? Yeah. <laughs> it's better to roll, to crawl than to cry in this life. When uh, we are praising God, the things which happen that some of you don't know. That's why we sing this song. Wangula, wangu, wangula. Amani gechizi kiza nechini Mukurano lutalo Pamala ika vacha Sira katunda ayamba Jascophobia is the fear of growing old. If you tell somebody how old are you, on their birthdays, people don't mention how old they are. I want you to praise God for how old you are. Last month, Last week on Tuesday, I became 70 myself. How so hard I was praying that I may not die when I got COVID 19. I was told when I was sick over there that there were some people in the, in the country who were younger than me dying. And people were saying, No, those are who are younger are more likely to die. I'm more likely to live on than Professor Kayo is going to die. Those are things people say to you. I don't want, I'm not rejoicing that they died, the, those who are younger than me. But young and old die, even babies die. Amen? Amen? Don't despise a person for being older than you. It's a sign of lack of knowledge, oh. lack of uh, ethics. It's called a, it's, it's a psychology is called ageism. As despising somebody because of belonging to another age bracket. Because he's young or because he's old. Now you can see Mary, uh, she's very bright, but I think she's brighter than me in many things. I think she is bright. Clap for her. How old are you? How old are you? Look at it. <laughs> tell us. Me, I know, but you tell us. <laughs> that is called gyroscophobia. Maria gyroscophobia. said, no, no, women are not supposed to say their age. <laughs> but you're already married. You're already <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a matter of uh, opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's about opinion. That is, the, I, I am as old as I think at that time. 
I'm not thinking about my age. Yes. But telling my age to people is is a personal thing. Why? But if I want to tell them, then I will tell them. <laughs> Because people are always getting some kind of a way they look at you this way or that way, this way, or that way, this way, or that way, because of age. <laughs> this way or that way, this way. <laughs> Professor Naba Zungu Bagara Nyuk Manyemi Akajavan. So that Naba and Tabala, but I'm called Bapima Pima. Yes. Bamanye, Obona in Nemia Kawechi, Chirabika, Tachatagir. But so, me, I'm as old as I feel. Yes, yeah. That's okay. That's better, but you still have not answered the question. <laughs> I am not, it is not. My responsibility to tell people my age. Yeah, it it's is. only my parent, my husband, or government, or uh. call a national ID. I'm telling you, just. Oba, oba, we na na kwe simba o kuba president. Kuba ngabira o age limit. I insist. I'm responsible. It's the, <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. But of how old are you? On the 3rd of February next year, I'm going to make 40 years. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. wow. <laughs> Mrs. Maniaku, how old are you? <laughs> I, I feel very young. I, I don't feel very young. <laughs> I'm older than you, but I'm, okay. I'm saying it. The professor is older. But I'm saying it. And he feels very, very happy when he says out his age. Yes. But as for me, I am happy. Yeah, the way. Praise the Lord. Fear. Fear of growing old uh, may also be an, a form of thanatophobia. Th thanatophobia means thanatophobia is uh, the fear of dying. Eh? Thanatos you know than T H A N. Eh? Tophobia. Thanatophobia. Yeah? Oh, oh, the, oh, alternatively, it means also the fear of being alone. The, or the fear, or the autophobia, you know, it's called autophobia, the fear of being alone. So, uh, there are many questions in the mind of mortality. If I marry this girl, won't she die in five years? Amen. 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 Or 20 years. Questions of mortality and all, all the associated fears. That have been concerned, that have concerned mankind over history. Fear is something that makes you unable to do certain things. You fear, you know, you, you see, you, you have, when you have not overcome geoscophobia, uh, you just look at uh, things for a long time in your mind, in your meditation, 
which make you feel uncomfortable, thoughts that are not helpful to think. Okay, you know, all phobias, all phobias, all those, regardless of what the feared object or circumstances are, the feared object, um, there's no feared object in a Jurassic phobia. Except maybe you think that when you grow older, you don't have teeth. Or I will not be able to, to see. But there are so many people who are old who are very intelligent. Why don't you pray that we will keep your teeth? Pray that your diseases may be healed. Amen. Pray that you may live on and on and on without becoming weak in your body. Amen. That may not lose your beauty or your handsomeness. But when, I mean, I, I see people at Kwanjula parties, and I know, I know these people now, I began to have those, those fears. One of the signs is a kanzu. And Busuti. So when they see professor dressed up this way, they say, this man also. What's happening to you? What are you talking about? This, my body is like this. It's not an old man's body, so I must respect my, I must respect my body. Amen? I'm not respecting what society is saying about how I should dress up. But this is my body. I enjoy myself. I have been, I pray to God to be rejoined to my youthful days. How many of you want that to happen? Yes, but say your age now. That I may pray for you. Go, tell somebody now your age. I'm going to pray about it. Tell someone, tumble, tumble. Eh? Tumblr. <laughs> then you eat the earth. Katonda to Gambia, to the NC, to Jimale. Walk. Katonda to Gambia, to the NC, to Jimale. Tell your name. Hey, Kato. To the NC, to Jimale. Katonda lagide. To the NC, to G. Katonda Yagamba, to the NC, to G. Katonda Yagamba, to the NC, to G. Katonda to the Hallelujah! I want you, there are many, there are many scriptures where God calls upon you to love him. If he has put his heart on me, I love him and I give him long life. Amen. Amen. Pray the Lord. But Wakola 
we hear and go sab a kuita ba a kukuru misa kui muse alleluia gatuma bo ba malaika ole me o pesita la ku Jinja era o le unya o nanga wakwa mukama anakununu ka o. She means I think she's been talking about uh, Psalm 91. Maybe she hasn't. O le kubera muchi. Don't <laughs> Sana Dwati Anakukum Ubi Wabi. Yes, Anakuangaza. And you say, Oh, Romuti Mago. Hallelujah, God to my Malaika, Ole me, O Pesitala, Kuji, Ja, Era, O Neunya, O Nangabakwa, Mukama, Ana. Should you fear Satan when the Lord will deliver you wherever you will be? Amen. Amen. The feared object here is, is doesn't have power. It's only a situation which God can remove. Amen. Your disease is only a situation. Yesterday I told you that the Lord uh, will not want what he has joined together to be put asunder. He has made human beings and exposed their existence through the mediation of soul joined to a body. And now they're humans. That tearing apart, that that uh, that uh, that setting asunder of soul and body is not something that God wants the devil to do to you. I want to pray for you that your soul will not be set asunder from your body until you're fully happy that you've lived long enough. Father, I pray that our souls and bodies will not be separated. And even demons which are trying to separate us to tear us apart, tear us off of the body. I'm happy that they've got no power over you. So I pray that to keep these people's lives 
absolutely well. And the host of angels around them. In Jesus' name. So I pray now, I've already said to you that the angel of the Lord will surround the situations of your wealth your, your family, your bodily health, your business and everything, so that you may not quest a ginger. Amen. Amen. So, those uh, the jealous of scophobia. Uh, all those circumstances I've been talking about produce feelings of anxiety and stress. For the sufferer. Yes, uh, the feared object is only a situation. And when you look, when God looks at, at you being afraid of something, sometimes he said, this is ridiculous. My son died that this may not happen. This man has forgotten about it. All these years that the gospel has been preached in Uganda with miracles and wonders show the existence of God. It's ridiculous. It is silly that there's still so much fear in their heart. Amen? Everybody says it's ridiculous and silly. After so many miracles have been performed on earth, that people still have so much fear. When there's a living God who is the source of life, the initiator of life, the planner. And he's able to do everything that you pray for. Why should you keep that fear every day and every night? Why don't you switch off the light at night? Darkness will kill me. They experience things which are not real. They fear things which are not real. That's human. Well, you can also, even with me, there was a time where I didn't switch off the lights in my room because I'd been in hospital and then I didn't want to, to die without anybody knowing that I was dead. <laughs> How many of you have, have ever felt that way? Yeah, you can feel it, but well, the Lord is with you even in darkness. Yeah. <laughs> that even though you walk in the shadow of the valley of death, fear no evil because it's with you. The prayers which you pray when you are alone with God and God answers them all. So you should know that that even though people have left you and you're the only one around in the hospital and the nurses are sleeping, still don't fear because the Lord is with you. Amen. 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 So, um, um, for many years, psychologists have been aware that our minds are more are capable of producing a real biological reaction to any given situation. And so long as the gyroscophobia sufferer believes that the object or situation, the fear, represents danger to them, then they will experience real fear. There's an auntie of mine on Entebbe Road who told all my relatives that I was going to be an heir. And 
Uh, she was keeping her keys everywhere she, she slept. She was very ill. My uncle told me, go and uh, inherit that property because she doesn't have any child. You are the only one she thinks of. But then she was, she was keeping the keys around her. So I went and sat there. She slept. When she slept, uh, children, uh, I mean, the, the cook and other people would pick up the kids and open the, the different things. You know, because she had, she had many rentals. And then she finally died with her keys in her hands. And I did not become heir. She was afraid of saying, this is my heir, because maybe that's a bad omen. It will show. I began to write my will from the day that I met Jesus. My early 20s, I was afraid of Jesus. Because the Bible, some people have told me that when you see God, you die. Now I've seen Jesus. I think he's up to something. He might want to kill me. So I wrote my will. One piece of, a copy of it in my house, another one in my socks. Where am I going? <laughs> that is many years. I didn't die. How many of you will write your will now? If you have a piece of property, you must write your will. How many of you will write their will at this age? You think that it's going to, it's going to be a prophecy against you. No. It's good planning. Some of you can end up being, being cremated, you know, because, <laughs> because relatives think that you got too beautiful, that property, that they want to spoil it by burying you there. <laughs> How many of you don't want to be cremated? Put up your hand. Then write your will that under the purple tree you place my bones. <laughs> How many of you will do that? They're afraid of death. <laughs> you, think, you think that you're going to die. You're not going to die. You will not die. Mary, I know you have some properties. Come and tell us about it. <laughs> I know your properties. <laughs> and you got children and you got property. I know. That's why. Have you, have you written a will, though? Have you written the, Don't keep here. Keep, don't tell us the details, but have you written your will? Because everybody is supposed to plan for others. Amen? That's good manners. Everybody says, everyone is supposed to plan for others. It's good civilized behavior. But can you imagine somebody saying, How many of you will, leave, will write a will? It is civilized behavior. Amen. Amen. Pray the Lord. That fear of writing a will is irrational. It is irrational. It is illogical. 
because, and people keep on experiencing the fear all the time of writing the will. So I want to speak about uh, the symptoms in about few minutes, uh, the symptoms of uh, gyroscophobia. The symptoms of gyroscophobia are similar to other specific phobias. Anger problems. When you grow older, you got anger problems because you're angry that younger people are likely to take your property. Or your brothers and sisters. And then you begin to be like, oh, you're angry all the time. That kind of thing. And some, one, one, uh, my, one of my secretaries died some years back. She used to keep her secrets so tight. And then relatives of hers after her burial came to me and asked me for her, uh, uh, what do you call those? Those uh, land titles of hers. Those land titles were around town here and the was they were expensive, they were in expensive areas. People uh, uh, thought I had those land titles. Because she was my secretary and my friend, but I didn't know anything about them. So some other people maybe took them over, stole them. Amen? Uh, and our children came and asked me, what can we do? We don't have any land. See, that anger problem, all the time you're angry that they know that you're sick. Therefore, they, they are planning to take your property. And also there's generalized anxiety. And you sleep worried about things like that. And even social anxiety. You're, you're afraid about people. You think that they're thinking about you all the time. And then you also develop control issues. You begin to control people. You, you are trying to control everything. And then the feeling of depression. Why do you have that kind of stuff in you? Because those things are likely to bring demons in your life. Insomnia. And sleeping problems. Sometimes low self-esteem. Because uh, when you come to church, you must sit near the toilet door. Because of problems you have. <laughs> Instead of solving the problem, you, if younger people are like that, amen? But, 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 you see, you see, and uh, low self esteem. You, they think. They think I don't know what I'm talking about. They don't think I don't have any brain. They don't have any mind. They think I can't be in charge of uh, my, my LC village as they, can't, uh, they don't respect me. Low uh, self-confidence. Self when they ask you to speak and make a speech, you say, ladies and gentlemen, 
God help me to go through this speech alive. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Pray the Lord. Panic attacks. This is a very, very common thing. Uh, overthinking things. Mary is a very beautiful girl. Come here. You are now a preacher, so you're going to be suffering me a lot. <laughs> We're going to see her every week here preaching. So. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> but she's my daughter. <laughs> You are overthinking things. government. Professor the Bible says uh, uh, Pastor Fred, I scripture God does not give us the spirit of yes. fear. Yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. But love, power, mm -hmm. and a sound mind. Yes. A sound mind is a mind that is quiet. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's quiet. <laughs> Your mind is quiet. Yes. Nature, there are two things. There is, the, there is fear instinct, a natural instinct. For example, uh, Njakubera nga nege ndelezo kukama dala. Yeah. Neme kugwa. It's naturally to protect me, like a, a emotional intelligence. Mm. Eh? Mm. But there is a spirit of fear. There is a difference between fear, fear eh, which is an emotion, right? Mm, mm. And then there is the spirit of fear, which Cold God God has not given us. So that spirit of fear, oba spirit yokuteyo, we water it. Yeah. Etu jifukirira. Etimothe one seven. Etimothe one seven. So Professor Jayo Gerako is the spirit of fear. Yeah. But I might be afraid to fall, eh? Nembera very careful. But when I contemplate about only bad things, it means I am watering the spirit of fear. And yeah. fear is the foot soldier of the devil. Yeah, yes, it is. When the devil wants to attack you, he first sends his foot soldiers, which are fear. <laughs> Then he will be able to attack you and put you off. That's right. I'm sorry. Clap for her. The, the pain of truth, uh, the, the, the pain of uh, seeing a dentist is deeper than the real removal of the tooth. <laughs> Yeah? The fear of injection is deeper than the real injection itself. The fear of vaccination is absolutely demonic. Because it is going to, you're going to die. So the fear, to fear vaccination, it is absolutely demonic. If there was not a vaccination in this country, almost a, a three quarters of us would die. Oh, the world. 
Amen. You can see, therefore, the fear of vaccination. And it's very simple. Me, I got the vaccination, the little jab, first jab, second jab, and the third one. But the words, so, the bloggers, they blogged so much lies all the time. Where I'm happy for that new law, computer misuse. Because they create a lot of fear for no reason at all. I mean, if you understand me. You know this church, people used to say that we had bones here of people. People used to say that we used to eat human beings. And somebody told some people in, in the government that my power, the power I have comes from, from tattuses. And people fear to enter the church because of bloggers and liars. You will see many liars. Amen? Have, have you understood? Those liars are going to be so many. Creating fear in you. Amen? Avo and I, I talk about, I understand you. I was talking about avoiding to fall is good because God has given it to, to protect us. Avoiding to fall down, avoidance, and safety behaviors like vaccination, that's also very good. But geoscophobia uh, and other phobias, those things are something, are things you should remove from yourself and be peaceful. I'm saying all the things to you that uh, when I say to you, fear not, what Jesus says, people are not going to understand how to do it. They will not even know that they've been fear, afraid all the time for many things. I believe that now you've been relieved now. We're going to uh, speak about uh, therapy. How do you treat it? How do you overcome that fear? You can become a slave of what you fear. One day, a Muzungu came here, began to preach here, he told us to receive the Holy Spirit. And he told us he had a matchbox. It was from Australia. I said, when I strike the fire of the matchbox, all of you speak in tongues. Because they feared the Muzungu. I saw everybody say, <laughs> And then he, he looked at the other corner and said, You people are not speaking in tongues. Watch this match box. <laughs> He was telling them that the tanks of fire from heaven were going to fall on their heads. After preaching, I, told, I took him to my office and told him, don't come here again. You are confusing people. People do wrong things because they are afraid. I want to pray for you that you may not fear much boxes. <laughs> I want to have peace. Can you sing us a song and we pray? Flying home like Elijah When the saints are going home Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
When the saints are going home, I'll be there, I'll be there. When the saints are going home, oh, luta longa luente, tu liambasi when gule, engule, engule, engule. Gule zi masa masa, hallelujah, hallelujah. When the saints are going home, I'll be there, I'll be there. When the saints are going home. Kabuli dechi gamba chama kama yimu sedo wazi yobuli de katunda biyoba dochiya omu sabari jeo. Sami akamwako yogera ne katonda okuti okoko nako noku badde mu bulamu bwo lwalero obuyinzo obulina mukama yabukuwa okutambulira ku misota ne njabe ezo busagwa na amanyi gonago omulabe sitani obuyinzo obulina okujjawo okuti okoko nako badde na ko bulamu bwo olwalero kozeso obuyinzo obo ojewo okuti okwo jawo okutya jawo okutya kugobe mu bulamu bwo Biona bioba dotia, o kutio kukatiwa, o kutio kuabuara, o kutio kuruara. Bigobe, kubango o kutia te kujabire tables. Gorola, gorolo mukono kweri katonda. Wechiba chete agisa kuba mungalo. O gobo kutia stani kuaba te kulekira. Choti echo, embere yo ya chisera busera. Wali o katonda jisinga man. Kubanga yewa rubere ra. Yali wonga embere te naba o. Yekatonda kuyamba, yekatonda kuonya, yekatonda kukuma. Goli no kuteka kebi rozo vyo. Obuongo wabu jemo kutebi rozo vyo. Bijemo kutia. Omutima gogu jemo kutia. Gobo kutia, gobo kutia. Okutio kwa kukadi, okutio kwa kufa. Okutio kwa wabu goba kwa na. Okubade mubula mubo. Bio nebi atu kakubazade mo neba jajabo. Neba ganda mo bigobe. Gobo kutio kuko nabi obadoe. Ebi subi obula mubo. Okutia makomera. Komera li obade mo mubula mubo. Luare roli menye. Menye komere li okutia li menye. Kutule njegerezo okutia. Ama samba ga kutule. Luare ro. Mukama kuwade wa mukisa. Olino kununulibwa. Oja kuwangara nye miaka minji. Atengo olimula mu. Ngo olaba. Ngo ulira. Ngato use. Ngo mbili guo. Mula mu. Kubanga mukawa, achikuwa de, achoge de muzaburi, eye chenda momo, agamatina jakuwa angaza kukusobulamo. Obulamo jabu kuta, ngoli mulamu. Omobiri gonga mulamu, ebirozo biongabira mu, gomaso go garaba, amatu go gawulira, amaguru go gatambula, omugongo go mulamu. Oluarero, furumi okutia mubulamu wo, mulinyeri ya yesu. Kubanga, echisawechiri, no mkono kwa katonda gugorodua. Okuno nola. Yesu. Tuliza. Tulibera. Wali wa manya. Wali wa amanya. Katano teka. Pewe tukibiza. Yesu. Muliro nomu. Saibwe vicha. Tugumire uye Tewe yo uwenji Tujirunya mawanga gona Yesu walija ya tusu Kale kale Bayugu Shibu Maulizi Gabula Kwan Kwan Masajya Matuwe Bewa Deyo Pray the Lord 
There were some who gave their lives for the gospel. There are some who cannot contribute 1,000 shillings for electricity or water. They are afraid of losing their money. And God looks at both of them and wonders who is silly and who is not. I want you to raise your hand before God. I say, forgive me for being different from what you expect me to be. Yet in the past, past believers in this country were able to stand firm before the king. And before the swords that were going to kill them, and the fire that was going to burn them, and the soldiers who were determined to do it. And then the, one of the killers was amazed to see that his, his son was also saying, I, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus. Father, pray that nothing will shake them, no fear, nothing from the love of God. And from the peace over the devil. In Jesus' name.